Hi, it's Dan Willinger from Ventriloquist Central, and today I thought I would show you a most unusual Brian Hamilton figure. Um, as we know, Bill Bowley made Bowley birds, and then Mayer Studios made uh, bird figures uh, very similar to the Bowley birds. Well, Brian Hamilton, he also made a bird, and uh, this could be a one-of-a-kind by him, I don't know for sure, but I thought I would show him to you because he's actually pretty neat. Uh, he only has a couple of movements. He's got mouth movement and he has the ability to uh, lift up his wings. So that's the, uh, that's the extent of the functions for him. But he's, uh, he's very cool. I love the fur that's used and the color contrasts and uh, he's very neat and I thought I'd show you the, uh, the head stick and body on the inside very very much like a regular ventriloquist figure um, here's the uh, the head stick is attached to a wire on the uh, a spring on the bottom that was something that Jack Coates did all the time Jack used the spring for his uh, connection to hold the head in place uh, it does have the plastic cord a plastic lever and uh, it's also signed right on the head stick Brian Hamilton January 1975. So it's an early figure by Brian and uh, that's his card on the bottom of it as well inside. You can see Brian Hamilton. So so there you have it. A very very unusual figure. Brian Hamilton is known for making his McElroy style creations but he did do wood carved figures and he also did the bird figure. So there you have it. And I hope you enjoy seeing something rather unusual, up close and personal. Always remember, I'm looking for antique ventriloquist figures for the Ventriloquist Central collection, so let me know what you've got. I'm always interested. Talk to you soon.